Hello there everyone, Ash and Flash here and welcome on into a Lego Disney video. Today we are looking at six brand new Brickheads joining our collection for Disney. These are to celebrate the 100 years anniversary for Disney and these are from the certification Lego site which means that the pictures officially will be revealed tomorrow but they're officially revealed technically from Lego. They're just really low quality. All these are going to be joining the already incredible brick heads that are launching on February the 1st, which is a four pack. We've done a video on that, but let's go ahead and let's take a closer look at these. First up, we've got set number 40619. This is Eve and Wally. These, all of them will be releasing on March the 1st. They're all two packs, which means that they retail for $19.99 USD or $24.99 Canadian. Wally is incredible. I love the build that they have for Wally. I think the plant maybe can fit on the inside. I think that looks great. Got a little toolbox. I love the printed bit there on the bottom. The eyes on those two by two tiles is phenomenal. We've never had that before. I really want large, larger brick heads, sort of like what they do with Funko. And this is a great step in that direction. Looks great. Eve, love the shaping of that, all of it. I can't really see how they've done the arms because it blends in with the background, but the eyes I sort of wish were blue Brickhead's eyes. I think that would have been really cool. Regardless, this is our first ever Lego Eve. I think that's awesome. Next up here, we've got set number 40620. This is Cruella DeVille and Maleficent. This is incredible. It's literally branded under Disney villains, which I love so, so much. I think that they did a great job with Cruella DeVille. If you look on the side of the box, you can sort of see it. I would have maybe gone with tan for the fur just to make it stand out a bit more, but white still looks great. I love, you can sort of make out some of the parts there, even though it's white for the uh, parts around the arms. I think that looks great how they've done that fur effect. The hair looks great. So happy about her being here as well as Maleficent's here would have been great to get her staff. I don't think it's included, but the horn builds there really great. And I think that's a printed torso and all that. I love the cape, everything there, the dress, absolutely incredible. Then we have 40621. This is Moana and Merida, two Disney princesses here in this set. Although she's technically says in the movie, she's not a Disney princess, but she's officially a Disney princess. Anyways, she's here. Regardless, I love it. I love how they did the little flowers in her hair. That looks so cool. I really am impressed by that as well as just the whole, like her hair. I love her skirt, her torso printing. So cool. And Merida looks great as well. I think that they've captured just her curliness of her hair as well as the dress. It's interesting. Sometimes different products go back and forth between dark blue and dark green. I think that dark blue personally is more accurate. Looks really cool. Phenomenal brick heads all around. But if you notice something here, technically, at least with the actual human characters, three of them have never gotten a minifigure before. We have a rumor slash leak that Moana will be coming in another set, as well as Cruella is rumored to be coming in the Disney minifigure series. Nothing on Merida though. So where is she? She's got to be in something. Like there's just, we've never had brick heads for the most part of characters that we've never gotten before in minifigure form. Even with the original Disney ones with like Frozone, Jack and Sally, they wound up coming that next year in minifigure form. So I really hope to see Merida in a set and maybe Eve and Wally in a minifigure form would just be incredible or buildable Eve would be so cool too. But I'd love to hear your thoughts on these phenomenal brickheads. So excited about these coming out on March the 1st. Be sure to subscribe, turn on the bell notification so that you don't miss out on future Lego Disney set news and reviews. I'll link a couple Disney videos here if you haven't heard some of the latest rumors. They're here on screen now. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. Hope you all have a great day. I will see you all in the next one.